Hello everybody, welcome back to Dad Cube's Secret Recipes. Yes, I'm back again on a Monday, I know. From now on, I'm going to do four videos a week. Four videos, just for you, right? So anyway, the first one went so, so well. It was the meatballs, of it, if you remember. Loads of people commented on it, all cooked it as well. Said it was perfect, like a mama used to make, yeah? Really, really nice. This time, I'm going to make a nice shepherd's pie. Uses some beautiful ingredients. Grown here in the old place around here, wherever it is. I don't know where it is, Essex, I can say. Since you're in Essex. It's going to be gorgeous. So over here, I'm going to show you all the stuff I'm going to put in it. All right, come on. Right, here we go. We've got some nice lamb mints, yeah? There's 800 grams here. 800 grams a minute of the old um, the lamb mints. A nice one. A bit of fat in it as well, so make it not too lean, okay? Just by the side of that, with some olive oil. You can use normal oil. Olive oil, I like using olive oil. I use many things. Some table salt, some pepper, and some nice Spanish herbs and spices. Really, really nice. Moving on, we've got some nice tomatoes, two tins of tomatoes in there, all mixed down with a nice uh, back of a spoon, I think I've done it with, just all, so all juice comes out of them. Above that, I've got some garlic, three cloves of garlic, cut down really nicely, just use the back of this blade, smash them down on the old, on the old worktop, that's beautiful. One large onion, I use a Spanish onion because it's really nice and big and juicy. In front of us here, we've got the old steaming hot water, which is, I don't know how much is there, but I mix it into this because this is the thickener for the gravy. On top of the gravy as well, I put a nice cube, a nice lamb cube in there. That goes in, makes it nice and meaty and everything, yeah? By the side of that, I've got some, I think I put, I think six carrots in there. Six carrots, diced, cuts, peeled and diced, beautiful. And in here was eight potatoes, which I cut up, peeled and cut up as much as that. And that goes on top of it afterwards, really, really nice. Okay, let's go and cook it. Oh, by the way, I forgot, egg. You need an egg as well. Don't forget the egg at the beginning. Just mix it all up. That's going to be the egg wash, egg wash that goes over the potatoes, makes them nice and brown, okay? Don't forget that bit. Sorry! Right, here we go. I've stuck the water in there, makes it nice and thick. That goes into the old, into the dinner, makes it beautiful, nice and thick, yeah? I'll boss this in, the old cube, that goes in there as well, makes it all down. That's beautiful. That makes the gravy really, really lovely and thick. Right, here we go. Onto the stove with this, with the olive oil in it. Let's take the stove up. Lovely, jubbly. And into that goes the onion. Get the stir around the olive oil. Don't forget to wear other gloves if you need to, because they burn like heck. Or even hell. Am I allowed to say? Nah, hell, fuck it. Next one goes in would be the garlic. What else is here? Next in, of course, is the carrots. Beautiful carrots, then. They go in and everywhere. In there comes the mince. One lot and the next lot. Right, just melt all this down. Melt it all down as a word, but no. Just mix all this up. All goes in here, it's all beautiful. Fats to start coming, start coming out of the, the lamb, which is perfect. This is what we want. Okay, so let that go away for a little while. I'll be back in a second. Right, here we go. This is really coming down lovely now, mixing together. So when this gets to this stage, I'll put a little bit of salt in. You can always add a bit more salt afterwards, which is really good. So all, all, to, all to your taste. I'll put about, about that much in. On top of that goes the spices. Just cut the shakes. Cut the shakes, they're all complaining. What's a cut of shakes? Pepper goes in. Another couple of shakes. There we go. Beautiful, them lovely fresh tomatoes. Not fresh, tin tomatoes. Fresh tomatoes. Fresh out of a tin tomatoes. Beautifully done. Beautiful. Look at the colour of them toms. Beautiful. Split down there. <laughs> Wipe that up afterwards. <laughs> you didn't see that, did you? No, good. It's gorgeous goop here. It's gone really, really, really thick. And that goes in there. And that makes the sauce just beautiful and thick. What we do now, we cook this for about another five more minutes, which toughens, toughens, softens down the meat a bit more, and the carrots get a bit more softer, and I put it in the pot, put the potatoes on top, and put it in the oven. So I'll show you that in a minute, okay? Right, here we go. The mix is nicely reduced. Just goes in there. There's a bit of fat in there, but it all comes from the lamb, but it's the flavour. The flavour is bloody beautiful. Really, really is. Mint's done. Right, on top of the mints, what we do, right, we've got potatoes. We've diced up, we've we sliced them and everything, yeah? They just go and lay on top like that. You build them through, just take it through, keep putting bits on, bit on, build it all the way down, and that's it. Right, there we go, all laid out, final three. These ones, it's full up nicely, so these just go on top. Perfect, yeah? You get the egg wash, nice egg battered up. Just get the old brush, and just put it over the potatoes. That's all you do. Push it all over your taters, that makes it nice and crispy and nice and brown as well. And all these ones usually on top here, they usually curl up. You turn them over in the cook, and I'll show you that later on. 
So when I'm having a cook, they become lovely and crispy on top, and the ones underneath are lovely, beautiful, boiled in the juices below. Oh, it's lovely. I can't wait to eat this, obviously. This is beautiful. And if you could turn around in my kitchen, I've got nearly 50 people in the kitchen all queuing up. They've come from four districts. Four districts. I tell no lies. Right, here we go. That goes there, about the middle of the oven. In there, like that. Close the door on it. Put a number six in mine. I don't know what that is in. I don't even know. Is it Fahrenheit? Whatever it is, I ain't got a phone today. But in my old fashioned thing, a number six, right? That stays in there now for about, I reckon, about half an hour. I look at it again. If the potatoes are turning a bit brown or again, a bit, bit burnt, I turn them all over, the top ones, and they keep on crisping up. So it takes about an hour to cook it. So I'll show you when it's finished at the end, okay? Right, here we go. About halfway along, this is. See, they're all going nice and brown. Beautiful, that is. Really, really beautiful. Just turn these over. All the juices are coming up and just soaking the potatoes. Really, really gorgeous. It is. The smell is, oh God, I'm starving. You shouldn't do this with your diet. Mind you, I'm doing this with diet. It's quite a good diet. It's good for our diet. Yeah, just turn them over like that. Bury them down like that. None's burning. If I get a little fork, I'll push it in. If you put it in, look, potatoes are cooking beautiful. About another 20 minutes and they'll be done. All right, there we go. That's beautiful. That is it. Look at that, the smell is amazingly <laughs> perfect. See you all next week. Try this, this is gorgeous, all right? It really, really is gorgeous. See you later, bye. You didn't mention your broccoli. Fuck the broccoli. <laughs> <laughs>